Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Please let us be on our feet as we pray. If the Lord has been good to you, if the Lord has been kind unto you, if you have been enjoying God's mercy, if the Lord has woke, woken you up this morning victoriously, I want you to be on your feet. I want you to begin to give him all the praise. I want you to begin to give him all the glory. Say, Lord, you are wonderful. You are excellent. The psalmist says, oh, magnify the Lord with me. Come, let us exalt his name together. He says, I called to the Lord and he answered. He saved me from all my troubles and delivered me from all my fears. If truly the Lord has saved you from your troubles, if truly God has delivered you from everything that has brought fear to you, say, Lord, I thank you, I appreciate you. I want you to be grateful unto God. Speak unto God with grateful heart today. I want you to appreciate him for his goodness, for his kindness upon your life, for his mercies upon your life. It is of his mercies that we are not consumed. Let us appreciate God for his mercy. Appreciate God for his kindness. Appreciate God for his goodness over you, over your family. As you go out, as you come in, whenever you pray unto him. The Bible says that blessed be God who has not allowed our prayer to return unto our chest. You have been praying and the Lord has been answering you. The Lord has not allowed you to be put to shame. He has not allowed you to be put to shame. He has not allowed the enemy to mock you, to mock your calling upon God. Say, Lord, thank you. For your goodness, I thank you. For your kindness, I thank you. For your love towards me, I thank you. For the salvation of your, my soul, I thank you. Lord, for the privilege to come to you, to pray unto you, for the privilege to serve, for the privilege to approach your throne of mercy. Lord, I say thank you. Be thou glorified in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Psalm 34, verse, 3, verse 5. He says, they looked unto him and they were not ashamed. And their faces, he said, they looked unto him and they were lightened. And their faces were not ashamed. I want you to lift up your voice unto God. Say, Lord, I come to look unto you today. Lord, let your light lighten every dark area of my life. In the name of Jesus, turn it to prayers. Say, Lord, by your light, O oh Lord, let every dark area of my life be lightened everywhere the enemy is hiding in my life everywhere darkness is hiding in my life to afflict me lord by your light today drive them out in the name of jesus by the revelation of your life by the revelation of your word from the mouth of your servant lord let darkness be driven away from my life in the name of jesus let everything of affliction be taken away from my life everything that is giving me unrest everything that is giving me issue by the reason of light today let them be taken away in the name of jesus he says that the light shines in darkness and darkness could not comprehend it say lord by your word he says he revealed himself himself unto samuel by his word in shiloh lord reveal yourself unto me i have come to your mount zion today i have come to shiloh reveal your word unto me through your servant today every word that will come out of his mouth let it address every issue of my life let me not go on the same way their faces were not ashamed pray that lord today every issue of shame let it end in my life let it end in testimony for me today let it end in glory for me today in the mighty name of jesus so by the reason of today's service lord take away my shame let me go home blessed let me go home glorified today in the mighty name of jesus let my life never remain the same again all those issues that have been bringing unto you, Lord, use the service of today to settle me and let me return with great testimonies to the glory of your name alone. In Jesus' mighty and powerful name, we have prayed. We declare this service open in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Let's put our hands together for God as we invite the living voices. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is 
Lord of our praise this beautiful morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's lift up our hands as we worship our Maker. Glory be to God.
God is Hallelujah. one of our friends this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He's worthy. All right. Hallelujah. Come on. Okay. Hey. The Lord. Come and say the Lord is good. He's been good to me. Come and say the Lord is good. Oh yes, Lord. There is nothing He cannot do. Hey. Come and say the Lord is good.
Wonderful praise team. Time for liberty in worship. Time to go before the Lord in freedom, in liberty, and just express your thanksgiving to God. Express your worship. Let's worship Him. Let's worship Him from all our centers Dominion City, Ibadan, Kolobo, Abelkuta. Oshogbo Center, Akure Center, Uyo Center, Portakot Center, and all of you in your various homes and offices and shops, those in traffic, wherever you are joining, in all nations of the world, let's give him our personal worship. Express your worship to God. He is worthy of our worship. He is worthy of our thanksgiving. Lord, we worship you over your children, your job, your work, your life, your ministry, your calling for protection, for provision. Let's give him praise. TPGF all over the world, wherever you are, join us in this sacred hour of praise and worship. Lord, we worship you. 
Lord, we praise you. We cannot praise him enough. Let's praise him some more. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, God of power. We worship you. We adore you. Thank you. In Jesus' name, we worship. In Jesus' name, we worship. Your praise has gone up. Your blessings are coming down. You have given God that which he loved. He will give you what you desire. Wherever human beings are joined to this service today, the presence of God will visit. Every sick person shall be healed. Every sinner will be saved. The fallen shall be lifted. Today is robe of honor. Garment of honor. It's a service of divine decoration. God will decorate your life. God will put beauty on your life. Beauty for ashes. A coat of color for your life. You will be blessed. In Jesus name. Let your amen roar again. Time to take our confessions. It is our covenant practice that we confess what the word of God says to our lives. We don't confess what we see around us. The challenges, the difficulties. We don't confess that. We confess what the word of God says. What is written. Jesus Christ said to them, what is written is written. It cannot be unwritten. As we speak the God's word to our life, it takes a new color. Are you ready to confess your possession? Stretch your hand before you. All of us in our centers, close our eyes to avoid destruction, to avoid distraction. Say with me, my Father and my God. I stand before you today anointed to prosper. I am before you today with a mandate to rule. As I go out, let your glory go with me. As I come in, let your presence come with me. All mountains before me shall be made low. All valleys shall be filled up. Put a crown of honor on my life. Everywhere I appear. Everywhere my children appear. Everywhere my business is seen. Let glory shine forth. Let your light be on me. It may be difficult for others. It may be tough for the world. But my case is different. I carry your presence. I am under a new covenant. Therefore, my supply must be adequate. I release my ministry angels. Go all out for me. Prepare the way. Touch the hearts that must bless me. Holy Spirit, go with me. Help me in all my endeavor. I will be on the mountain top. A role model you have called me. So will I be. Everything that has my name on it must be exceptional. Everything that carries my name receive a divine touch. Help pass will come for me. My life will not lack support. All the children you gave me, they will be doing well. My life, my home, my job, my calling, my assignment. Receive a new oil. Receive a new touch. My body, you are healed. You are the temple of the Holy Ghost. No sickness must feast on you. I will use my body, my resources, everything you gave me to worship you, to serve you. I will live long. I will live well. I will fulfill my purpose. I will not be cut short. I will not be cut down. Glory shall surround me. Power shall surround me. My testimonies will be fresh. Everyday testimony. 
to you be all the glory. Thank you for hearing me. In Jesus' name. Let your amen pull a miracle. You will go forward and forward. You will not know retrogression. You won't die before your time. You will live to fulfill your purpose. Your children will take after you. They will make you happy. You will be happy serving God. You are blessed forever. In Jesus' name. Another amen to God Almighty. Put your hands together for the Lord. Help me welcome two or three persons around you there as you take your seat before him. You are welcome. Everyone, please find a place to sit. Both in Goshen Land, in Dominion City, in Kolobo, everywhere, you are welcome. Prayer Mountain is an interdenominational service. Here, there is no discrimination, there is no segregation. There is no which church did you come from. It's not about denomination, it's about God. It's about tapping to the anointing of God to live a useful life. It is knowing the word of God so that we can rule in the world of men. It's an impartational service. It's a prophetic service. It's a service where we call things by faith and they show up. So today, get ready for a touch. Get ready for a divine touch. Please, don't miss it weekly. Let it be a covenant between you and God that you will not miss this Thursday service in all the centers. Give God this time so that you can make up your time for you. Be consistent every week. Be consistent. I've said that again and again. In dealing with God, in walking with God, in growing in God, consistency is key. God said to me many years ago, I am a consistent God. I cannot bless inconsistency. And very many of my children are inconsistent. That is why they are not receiving the full manifestation of blessings. I am a consistent God. I cannot bless inconsistency. Look at nature. Everything about God that God created is consistent. The sun rises in the east and sets in the west every day without fail. The seasons of life are distinct and they come at their season. Everything about God is consistent. Please ask God for the grace of consistency. The most inconsistent people I've ever seen are church people. They pray, they don't pray all the time. They go to church, they don't go every time. They fast, they don't do it regularly. They give, they don't give consistently. Inconsistent people. And it denies you of the full blessings of God. Make this weekly prophetic service consistent in your life. Somebody say, I hear. There will be situations, some days that will look so difficult, you have to be tougher than the toughness around you. I have said again and again, we don't serve God out of convenience, but out of what? Commitment. If you are looking for a convenient time to serve God, it will never come. When everything is okay with me, and I am settled, I then will serve God. Such a time will never come. It was not convenient for God to send Jesus to you. It was not convenient for Jesus to die for you. So don't look for convenient time. Just say, I am committed. I am committed. Many of us have been married for many years. Thank God to the glory of God. I have been married for over 40 years. Some people have been married for more than that. Some people are just in their 20, 15. But everyone that got married and remained married was able to do so because you are committed to that marriage. There are situations for you to have said, I'm done. But you say, no. It's once I'm committed to this. So you bear up. You have to be committed to serve God. Somebody say, I am committed. 
You said it too. Yes, Say it again. I am committed. I am committed. May God give you the grace. Yes. Now go to your share button and start sharing. This family is growing all over the world because people are sharing. All of you across the world, in all the continents where you are joining us, TPGF is in so many nations of the world. And it is growing because people are sharing. Share, 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 share. It's a service to God. Then we celebrate testimonies here. We give testimonies of what God has done. A miracle you fail to testify about, the devil can steal it. If God did anything, uh, God has done anything for you and you fail to tell his people, this is what God has done for me, then you are an ingrid. So please don't keep your testimonies to yourself. Don't say I'm shy. Don't say I don't know how to face the crowd. It is one day you face the crowd. And I tell you, when you face the crowd, don't look at anybody's face. Just look straight. You won't see anybody. And you'll just be giving your testimony. Yeah, you give testimony, God is glorified. Then when you tell what God has done, you commit him to do more. How many of you want God to do more for you? He will do more for you. Did you bring things for me to prophesy to? Here, we use things to represent things to collect things. We use things to represent things to speak to things. Mark eleven twenty three. If thou shalt say unto this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, we speak here. So you bring things to represent things. You call on your children, your sons and your daughters, your husband and your wife. I am going before God to represent the family. Anything you want me to take before God? Anything you want me to speak to God concerning you? That's why we say prayer mountain is not like the Sunday conventional service. It is a prophetic service. We do things unconventionally, provided it is scripture. Did you bring your anointed mantle? Get it out. I want to speak to it. Did you bring your anointing oil? What of your anointed currency? Did you bring your water bottle? I prophesy over that water, it becomes a healing agency. So, if you don't have a bottle of water, go outside and get one. Did you bring documents that represent what you desire? Your CVs, those trusting God for job. Your immigration papers all across the world, if that is your challenge. Do you bring photographs of your children, your sons and your daughters? You want them to receive a prophetic touch. Did you bring things concerning your business? An item from your shop, from your home, from your factory? from your office, from your practice. Did you bring baby things for those trusting God for baby or trusting God for their daughter's babies? Did you bring wedding things for those trusting God in that area? We are all looking glorious. We are all looking royally, but our needs are different. Bring things in the areas of your need, and then we begin to speak to it. Everything you have brought, lift it up, and let me prophesy to them. I stand in the name of God Almighty, through Jesus Christ. I begin to speak to those good things you have in your mind. Those things in your hand. Those things in your heart. Those good dreams. Those good visions. Your plans, your projects, your programs, your journey. I ask that divine intervention be released. Amen. Those good intentions shall become your testimonies. Amen. There is no stopping you. Since the Red Sea could not stop the children of Israel, no power will stop you on your way up. Amen. On your way to your destination, Amen. no force will stop you. Amen. No force will stop your children. Amen. I speak to everyone's life. Everywhere you go, a shine will be on you. Amen. God will mark you out for divine exemption. Amen. A thousand can fall by your side. 10,000 at your right side. Only with your eyes will you see them. No evil will come near your dwelling. No evil will come near your children. We will not hear evil about you. It shall be testimony every day. You will grow stronger by the day. You will be more anointed. In the name of Jesus. Receive impartation for wisdom. Everywhere you go, wisdom of God will separate you from others. The power of God will be strong on you. 
Yes, it may be coming down for the world. It will be going up for you. Amen. When men are saying they are casting down to you, there will be a lifting up. Amen. Every door you are knocking, I command it to open. Amen. International door, business door, career door, money door, ministerial door, global doors. Every door you are knocking, I command it to open. You shall go forward and forward. You will not go backward. No matter the wind current, a river never flows backward. You will never go backward. Your business will not go backward. Whatever is shut down in your life, contrary to purpose, is open now. There shall be no shutdown. There shall be no premature death. The power of God will be on you. The glory of God will be on you. The strength of God will go on you. Go and bring back testimony. Go and bring back good story. You are blessed forever. In Jesus' name. Let your amen roar three times. Use those things in your hand as a wave offering to the Lord. And please have your seat. Something good has just happened to you now. You will give testimony of it later. In Jesus' name. So first timers, we will give you the anointed mantle at the appropriate time before we start praying. You will listen to how people are engaging all our prophetic practices, biblical prophetic practices, and see testimony they are bringing. We never do anything here that is not established in the Bible. It may look strange to some because they don't know their Bible well. When you see everything we do, it is Bible, established Bible backdoor, and that is why you are hearing testimonies. Now, the first quarter of this year ends today. God has taken us through 13 weeks, the first 13 weeks of the year, to him be all the glory. Every quarter, we prepare flyers which we use in inviting people and introducing people to this prayer mountain, to God. Let me repeat what I have said again and again. If we don't bring them to church, somebody will take them to the shrine. When people are in difficulties, when they are in pain, when they are frustrated, when nothing is working, when they have waited and waited, they, don't, they can't keep it to themselves. And it depends on who they first speak to. And if they speak to the wrong person, it will take them to the wrong place. When people are desperate, they go anywhere. When people are desperate, they do anything. And people are positioned around you. Don't keep your mouth shut. Take a good number of flyers every week. Your neighbor, your friends at work, where you work, in the market, where you sell, in the school, in the institution, in the office, in the estate, in the street, give it to them. If they take them to the wrong place, they will mess them up. Many will be vandalized, exploited, and even killed. And God said, they are blood that will require from you. Anyone that God brings you close to, or bring close to you, he wants you to show them the light of the gospel. If all you can do is to say, ah, there is a prayer mountain I go to, it will bless you. Anybody that mentioned problem before you, spiritual, marital, financial, don't pretend you don't know what to say. So if that is the case, it's not a problem. If you can, let's go to prayer mountain. And this is the flyer. And every week we have highlighted the prayer focus every week. Therefore, I want you to take these flyers generously. Take it how? And it is forbidden to take this track and just put it on your table. Or put it inside your Bible. We use tithe and offering of people to print it. So it is a sin to take it and not distribute it. Take as many as you can. Usher, I'll give it to them. Do so in Dominion City. Do so in Port Harcourt. Do so in New York, Aquaibom State. Do so in Akure. Do so in Abelkota. Don't just take one. Take many. Those of you that have offices or you know receptions, hotel receptions or good offices where you can place it, take permission from them and place a good number there. We have printed it in thousands. So take it generously, week after week, inside the vehicle, 
You anybody enter your car, it must go out with flyer. Anybody come to your office, it must go with flyer. Women, put it in your handbag. It's not only tiro and atike, or pancake, or lipstick, or mirror that should be in those bags. Put this one there generously. I say, okay, ah, please, please, please. Anyone and people in your neighborhood, let God use you to bring people to prayer mountain where they are blessed without being charged. Freely you receive, freely give. Where they will hear the truth that will liberate them. Where they will meet people that will turn their lives around. Where their eyes will open and the siege of death will be over them. Please take more, take more, take more. Take more. Every week, take more. In this quarter of 13 weeks, let God use you to give out at least 1,000 flyers. Let God, in the 13 weeks, let God use you. At least give out 10 flyers or 100 flyers every week. We are not, you are not paying for it. We are using God's money to print it. And you see, it's very colorful. Is it not colorful? Then you yourself, keep one, only one. How many are you talking to keep for yourself? How many? If you keep more than one, your conscience will strike you. Just one for you to know the weekly focus and the Bible verse to read. If you keep more than one, the Holy Ghost will remind you. Say, uh-huh, you are wasting God's money. You are wasting God's money. Uh, but pastor, I give them, they don't come. Mm -mm, give them again. It's like sending Tony Point to people. You hear testimony here. Say, my auntie started said I was deleting it. I was deleting it. One day something said, listen, no. And as I listen, it was my issue. From that day, I have become an addict. How many of you were deleting it before initially? Can I see your hand? Confess. May God forgive you. But today, you are the one sending it to people. May the Lord keep blessing you. Then we have the prayer altar. You bring memo to God. God said to me, establish a prayer altar and let my people bring their prayer requests in form of memo. Those of you watching across the world, look at the mail address on your screen. Send your own as a mail and then it will be printed out an envelope and put on the altar for you. There is no point for anybody suffering quietly. Send it to God as a memo. We put it on the altar. Do so in all the centers, and the power of God will be on you. So let's bless this altar. Everybody stretch your hand towards this altar. This is part of our services here. He said, if two of you shall agree as touching anything that they may ask, it shall be done. Two or three, look at how many of us are agreeing now. All over the world. Stretch your hand here. I lay hand and I command that in the name of Jesus, these needs be turned to testimonies. Yeah. These requests be turned into good stories. Yeah. Every need here receive divine answer. Yeah. Every issue here receive a divine touch. Yeah. You will smile back with testimonies yeah. in Jesus' name. Yeah. Somebody say amen. amen. Say it is done. It is done. Yes, it is done. All right, let's get into today's business. Serving God is a serious issue. Every week, we have a prayer focus. Like I said, this is the last week of the first quarter. We are starting a new week next quarter, next Thursday. Nobody should be absent in that first prayer mountain of the second quarter of the year. And today's message, today's prayer focus, we say, clothe me with honor. Can somebody turn that to prayer and say that to yourself? Can you say, clothe me with honor? Say, oh Lord, clothe me with honor. Honor is coming on you today. It is the other side of our last week's prayers. Last week, it was remove evil garment from me. Today is the other side. Now that the evil garments are removed, what next is clothe me with honor. Clothe me with beauty. 
Clothe me with power. Clothe me with anointing. Clothe me with new strength. New strength. New anointing. New decoration shall come over your life. We say you should wear new clothes or bring one. Did you remember? You see me wearing a parachute this morning. This is a parachute. African parachute. And I can see many of you in colorful dresses. But I can bear some of you have forgotten. Some of you did not hear. But all of us are here. God is going to clothe us. I said he's going to close us. In this first service, I titled this short message. We always receive a short message. And that message will lead us into prayer. And the anointing. And the prophetic blessings. And then to the miraculous. I call it spiritual cloth of honor. Spiritual cloth of honor. And in this first service, I want to use Joseph as our case study. I want to use Joseph as our case study. Genesis 37 verse 3. Media, please cooperate with us today. Genesis 37 verse 3. Now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children because he was the son of his old age and he made him a coat of many colors. A coat of many what? A coat of many colors is coming on you today. A coat of beautiful colors is coming on you today. A coat of many colors. Lord, clothe me with honor. Please, find time to study Joseph in the Bible. Find time. How many of you know how to study the Bible, study a character in the Bible? You begin to trace everywhere you see his story. Find time to study Joseph. Everywhere you see Joseph is connected with garment. You can't talk about Joseph. You can't separate Joseph from garments, from robes. Genesis 37, verse 31. Genesis 37, verse 31. And they took Joseph's coat and killed a kid of the goat and dip it, dip the coat in the blood. A five instances of Joseph and robes, Joseph and coats, Joseph and garment. Now, to start with, number one, his father made for him a coat of many colors. We have seen that. Number two, his brethren took off his coat, killed a goat, and splashed it with blood, and took it to his father. Does this look like your son's coat? A lion has killed him. Now, everywhere you see Joseph, Something is connected to garment. Something is connected to coat. Something is connected to rope. Number three, Genesis 39, verse 12. Genesis 39, verse 12. And she caught him by his garment, saying, Lie with me. And he left his garment in her hand and fled and got him out. This was in the Potiphar's house. Now, his father made for him a beautiful garment. His brethren took it of him, of him, and now he found himself in Egypt. Issue of coat still followed him. And the Potiphar's wife stripped him of his coat. You know the story. When he said, Come and lie with me. And when Joseph was not cooperating, he wanted to rip. That was the first instance of a man raping him, a woman raping a man. He wanted to rape Joseph. Joseph left his coat with her and ran out. Joseph ran out naked because somebody wanted his, uh, his coat. Somebody wanted to implicate him and he left the coat with him. Genesis 41 verse 14, number 4. I'm tracing instances of Joseph and garment and coat. Then Pharaoh sent and called Joseph and they brought him hastily out of the dungeon and he shaved himself and he changed his layman. Hey, he couldn't go to the palace with prison clothes. So he, the prison clothes were removed from him, prison uniform. And then he has to appear before Pharaoh. I speak to somebody today, prison garment will be removed from you. Amen. Sicknesses and diseases garment will be removed from you. Amen. Regret and rejection garment will be removed from you. 
those will be our prayer cry today. Remove prison clothes from me and change it to a royal robe. Everywhere you saw Joseph, something about garment was following him. Genesis 41, verse 42. Genesis 41, verse 42. And Pharaoh took off his ring from his hand and put it upon Joseph's hand and arrayed him in vestures of fine linen and put a gold chain around his neck. You can see another uniform. Now, this is royal uniform. From prison uniform to kingship uniform. Everywhere you saw Joseph, something is always connected with robe. So today we are saying robe of honor is coming on somebody. And we are using physical things to illustrate spiritual things. We are using physical things that you can see, that you can uh, connect with to talk about spiritual things. So when we are talking about wear a royal cloth, wear a beautiful dress, we are only using the material, the physical, the natural to connect to the spiritual. The miracle of Joseph will come on you today. The miracle of a changed robe from miserableness, from crying all days, from poverty, from joblessness. Those are kinds of clothes the devil put on people. There are those the devil wear, spiritually speaking, coat of rejection. Everywhere they appear, something is always rejecting them. But that is going to be changed today. That is going to be changed today. Your clothes of honor shall be after the order of Joseph. From prison uniform to prime minister's robe. Whose son am I prophesying to? Whose husband? Whose wife? Whose life? From garment of sickness to robe of honor. From garment of uh, failure to the robe of honor. From garment of mediocrity and redundancy to the garment of honor. After today, everywhere you appear, people will accept you. People will honor you. Yes, people will honor you. As you cover yourself with that cloth, whether you are wearing it or you are handling it or even you did not bring it, when you get home, wear a new cloth and prophesy these things to your life. Miracle will begin to happen. God will clothe you with honor. Who am I talking to? God will clothe you with honor. From today, no more dishonor. Amen. From today, no more rejection. Amen. From today, no more losses. Amen. From today, no more failure. Amen. Even those who hate you, they will rush around to bow before you. In the name of Jesus. You remember Joseph's brethren, they threw him into the pit. I'll be talking more about that in the second service. They say, here comes the dreamer. Let's kill him and see what will become of him. Unknown to them, you can't kill a dreamer. You can't kill a person that God has marked out for honor. You can't kill a person that God is backing up. It is too dangerous to fight a person that has God. He said to Saul on the way to Damascus, it is hard for you to kick against the bricks. You will wound yourself. After this anointing, whoever is kicking against you will be wounded. Whoever is saying, I don't like your face, will be blind. Amen. Honor will be on you. Amen. Honor will be on you. Amen. So we are using Joseph to illustrate this coat of honor. In the second service, we'll be using, I'll, be, I'll be using three characters in the Bible to illustrate this coat of honor. This garment of honor. I'll be using Esther. I will be using Joshua the priest. And every one of them, you will see how God changed their garment and they became a different person. After today, you'll be a changed person. Amen. You, are representing, you, are using, you are representing your children, your son and your daughter, they will be a changed person. Amen. You are representing your spouse before God, they will be a changed person. Amen. Every one of you, God will wear you a beautiful robe Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, we will take testimonies. Then we will come back and say, after the order of Joseph, turn my things around. Wear me a coat of many colors. They took that away 
and God put a more beautiful robe on him. Take me from the prison of life to the palace of life. Those who hated him ended up bowing before him. They begged him to forgive them. Those that are saying nonsense about you, they will beg you for forgiveness. Those that are gossiping you, they will beg you for forgiveness. Those who have done anything silly against your interest, they will beg you for forgiveness. And everything they did for you, instead of bringing you down, will take you higher. Everything done against Joseph was taking him closer to destiny. When they threw him inside the pit, when they pulled him out, when they sold him to slavery, when Potiphar's wife lied against him, when the sheep butler forgot him, everything was taking him closer to the throne. After today's anointing, everything around you will take you closer to your throne. Amen. If your amen is strong enough, heaven will make it happen. Amen. Now we will take testimonies online. We then come back and take testimonies here on the ground in all our worship centers. And then we move into the prayer. Lord, garment of honor. Lord, change my evil garment. Change anything that is not working on me or working for me. Clothe me with honor and honor shall be on you. In Jesus' name. All right, so pastor, let's receive online testimony. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Once again, the testimony line is placed on the screen before us. We plead with everyone here and everyone joining from all over the world. Please save that number to your phone and then send us a WhatsApp message so we can have your number on our data. Send in the testimonies that God has been giving and will yet give you. It's also the same line to receive questions and make inquiries. God bless you as you do so in Jesus' name. Four testimonies quickly for session one. Praise the Lord. Join me to thank God for his miraculous open door, even at this time of tough economy. I miraculously sold a plot of land I put up for sale since the COVID year. God also provided my dream minibus. I am indeed grateful to my Heavenly Father for numerous miracles. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now can somebody celebrate God? Good morning, my TPGF. I want to thank God for what he has done to me. I had lump on the left side of my ear. I applied the anointing oil on it for three days, and it disappeared completely. Thank you, Jesus. Can we celebrate God for divine healing? Good morning, sir. We thank God for deliverance from home fire accident. My children left a pot of soup on the fire and went to church. This happened last Sunday. The pot was totally burnt, but the house was preserved. We give all glory to God. Can somebody celebrate God for preservation of property? It is God who does great things. And finally, for this session, good morning, Daddy and my TPGF. I want to testify to God for healing my neck. I had a big swelling on the left part of my neck. It was so painful, such that I could not even turn my neck. People said the swelling needs to be operated on, and I was confused. During the last week, February, which was a healing week, Pastor Femi Emmanuel prayed for people that had swelling in any part of their body. I quickly placed my hand on the swollen left side for the healing prayers. And I continued to apply anointed oil on the place and also placed my mantle there for days. To the glory of God, the swelling has shrinked and melted away supernaturally. No more pains. Somebody please praise God for me. If you are the next to be delivered from all pains, please intentionally give God praise. Hallelujah. 
anything and everything swelling up in any part of your body will melt away and disappear today. <laughs> any lump at all is in the wrong place. It's on the wrong person. It shall melt away in Jesus' name. Mm. Home fire accident. All these uh, putting food on the stove and sleeping off. Take care. By the grace of God, there will be no misfortune on anyone. In the name of Jesus. And whatever you had wanted to say, after this robe color of honor, it shall be sold. If you are here for the first time today, we want to take your name and your number and your prayer request. If today is your first attendance of prayer mountain service, in all our centers, raise up your right hand. Ushers will give you this small form. Fill it in Dominion City, in Goshen Land, in Abelkota, everywhere. Today is your first time to attend prayer mountain on Thursday morning like this. Please raise your right hand up. Receive this small slip and fill it up. Just your name, your GSM number, then prayer request. What you want me and all the prayer ministers to be praying about for you until it becomes your testimony. Please write it and make sure your phone number is well written. It's the correct one. When you are done with filling the little form, raise it up. Ushers will pick it from you and from there. We begin to pray for you. You will also begin to get the uh, SMS being sent out every Wednesday to remind you of this service and to even tell you what we are coming to do. Now we are going to take live testimonies. Please celebrate the testimonies. It's not the testifiers we are celebrating, but the God that did the miracle. And when you join others to celebrate what God has done, you just provoke God to do your own. Come, Nehemiah, okay? Your name and what God has done. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, Turning Point family. Good morning. I want to use um, this opportunity to bless the name of the Lord. I never yeah. want to come out, but the Spirit keeps disturbing me. That's right. I want to bless God because from the day I have joined this commission, the Lord has been faithful. Faithful God. Um, December, I wrote some names. And I bring it here to place it on the altar mm. because I need a space for my business. Space. And this, my brother, is a very stingy person. <laughs> there is no how you will ask him money. He will not give you. I said, no problem. <laughs> then I brought his name here. Uh -huh. Put the name on the I altar. I keep sowing that seed that God, I did not believe that he would do it, but I believe in God. Yes. And lo and behold, February, first week, yes. he just, I saw that a lot. I shouted. I was at Ojota. People were like, ah, what happened? What happened? But I kept quiet. I said, eh, 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 calm down. When I saw it, <laughs> you know, the thing keep, he now called and said, eh, you said you need a space, so eh, just go and get it. Then later we'll discuss about, ah, I shouted and yes. I thank God because God is indeed miracle. faithful. Amen. Then secondly, I want to thank God because an open door, since the day daddy said we should use this man to, to uh, eat the doors yes. and pray with it. Yes. I eat the door with the mantle. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, yes. even the contract that I did not expect, yes. they were after me yesterday, day before yesterday, because I'm yes. a caterer. Come and do this Come for us. Come and this. your food is, I said, ah, because I normally go with my salt. Mm. Whenever I go for cooking, yes, so. I will just put the put salt that Jesus take control. Yes, so. Let them eat it and begin to call me. And I know that God that has started wow. this work will finish it yeah. in the name Beautiful of Jesus. Name. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah. What a beautiful testimony. I always add a little salt. Add a little salt for them, Joe. The power of God will take over. Your name, man, and what God has done. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Mrs. Blessing Balogo. My testimony goes like this. I, the first testimony, I want to use it to encourage us here, please. The flyer that they are sharing, yes. please, if you have not collected, uh -huh. collect it. I know what I'm saying. Thank you. The last time I gave testimony here concerning the flyer, how God, since that time, yes. that day, hmm. Brethren. Brethren. <laughs> the way customer, yes, even so. if it's just two customers that enter my shop, yes, so. millions. 
Hmm. Millions. Yes. Even I'll be asking my manager, I'll say, do we have such goods here yeah, yes. that you are writing and writing? You say, mommy, we have, we have a... Hmm. In fact, I don't know. Since Hallelujah. I've been... I don't used to do it, though. Yeah. I'm the, I said it last time that <laughs> I'm the kind of person that I, I, I shy. Shy, so, so you and I, My <laughs> mind will be telling me that, what are you going to tell them? Uh -huh. So on that faithful day, I started. And since, yes. and also sharing of uh, uh, the Fire. program yes. on a line, mm -hmm. please. I don't sleep. People come to my shop and say, please, don't stop. Hmm. The, the program is blessing me, wow. the turning point. I mean, the daddy money uh, uh, prayer yes. every day. Yes. Please keep on sharing it. Yes. It's blessing me. Hallelujah. The second testimony, my son called me, that was uh, last month, that his, pro uh, his project, uh, this thing to defend uh, his project mm. that is coming up. So I said, don't worry. Yes. I know the God I'm serving. Yes, the sir. God of turning points will turn things yes. around. Turn things so, around. And on Tuesday was the something. So I've been paying back to see. Back to see. Exactly what I prayed. Yes. Why I came out. In fact, very surprising. The whole word I said was what the supervisor. Yes. He just said, you can go. Hmm. You can go. In fact, I'm feeling you. He hmm. told my son, I'm feeling you. <laughs> you can go. <laughs> so, and he told the other group. He said, see you. This boy, yeah. Balogun, if I'm giving him point, you push you not. I say, your supervisor said it openly. Ah. I said, that is God. The oh, God of us, of him, Emmanuel. Hallelujah. <laughs> Battle seed works wonders in Jesus' name. Please be sharing the flyers. I have told you, the fastest way to get God to do your things is to do what? To do his things. You want God to do your things? Do his things. Share flyer. Bring people to the service you are doing. The greatest service anybody can render to God is not just bringing money. It's bringing souls. So go after souls and see God works wonder. God bless you for that testimony. Ma, your name and what God has done. Praise the Lord. Good morning, church. My name is Fola Shadi Aji. I want to give glory to God. Since last year, my phone has been bad. I'm believing God. I didn't have the money to buy that. Mm. My brother promised me um, from U.S. that if I see anybody coming, I'll buy a phone. Mm. Since December, if nobody, if you see people coming, mm. you'll be disappointed. So when I prayed that anybody that needs, I say, I'll key to it. And I said, this time, I yes. must receive this phone. Yes. On Tuesday, somebody came and he brought the new phone. Hallelujah. Thank God. Then I want to thank God again. This prayer that he prayed that day, which is back up with seed. So after the prayer, my spirit said I should back up with the seed, but the only money I have is to go to church. Right? I said, how, how am I going to do that? And my mind said I should divide the money into two. So I did. Mm. And immediately I left the prayer altar. I remember to call somebody that I you know. Anytime I want to call, I just forget. It. Let me just call today. So after the conversation, just said, send me your account. Send me your account. So immediately what he gave me was three times what I gave. Wow. I just want to thank God. It's good to obey the Lord. Before the day is over, somebody is going to say, send me your bank account. <laughs> Mommy, your name and what God has done. Praise the Lord. My name is Mahmoud Ariche. I want to give God all the glory for his faithfulness. Faithfulness. God has been faithful. faithful I travel. God. I'm always on the road, on the air. Hmm. God has been faithful. Faithful God. I give God the glory for my son. For 13 years, we have been believing God for uh, permits, hmm. presidential permits. And that 13 years... He got married. He mm. has three kids. Mm. To the glory of God, last week, he got residential the family. Let family. somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God for mothers. Mothers, be praying for your children. I don't even need to tell you that. I hope you are doing that. And you are sowing battle seed on their behalf. And everything we preach here, you are connecting it to them. They are going to come up great children for you. Sir, your name and what God has done. Praise the Lord. My name is Mazin. Last Thursday, we were here to remove evil garment. Yes. Last year, I lost my phone. Hmm. I've been going two times from here, getting there, they will turn me this way, that way. Then last Thursday, I yes. was even saying I will not go. My wife said, you have to go. Hmm. Because this Thursday, you will carry clothes for new garment. Hmm. On getting there, the first miracle started. We were outside. 
And then we are taking in people. My number was at the last. One man came out and said, ah, Daddy, enter. Allow him to enter. Mm -hmm. I enter before my time. Mm. Getting in there. I did not go. I forgot my space. When it was my turn to go to the cashier or the man at the head, I was unable to fill the form. A called one person said, fill this for daddy. Mm -hmm. After filling it, lo and yes. behold, mm. I got the line yes. that I've been going for mm. since all the time. Praise Absolutely. the Lord. Whatever you have been going for since all this time, you are getting it now. Your name and what God has done. Praise the Lord. My name is Egole Juliet. I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul. I want to thank God because God has been so faithful and so kind to yes. me. I want to thank God for his provisions, his kindness, and his mercy upon my life and yes. my family. On the course of me planning for my relocation down to east, I needed to rebuild some of my loads to east. Yes. And anybody that I called, they would say, this one would say 300,000. This one would say 220,000. The list was 150,000. Mm. And I was praying, God, how do I do it? The thing became a burden to me. So last week, Thursday, I wrote it on the memo, and I doubled yes. my um, battle seed. And to the glory of God, yes. not only did I... We believe it. They collected just 47,000 wow. naira. And they are, I'm not the one that paid the money. Everything was just miraculously settled. Wow. Miraculous Both my transportation bank to the east has been given to me. Praise the Lord. <laughs> also, yesterday, I went to uh, Ireland to get some things for myself for my relocation. And I was greeting my customers, and most of them started blessing me with money, with some material <laughs> things. I just want to glorify the name of the Lord. Ah, Praise you. the Lord! Your own testimony we follow. Yes. Mommy, your name and what God has done. Praise the Lord! I want to thank God for what God has done for me. Yes. Last week, uh, Saturday, God added another year to my year. Yes. And I appreciate the name of the Lord. And I want to sing, to, to, to appreciate the wonder of God in my life. But what, no, if you have given testimony, you won't say. <laughs> Mommy, your name and what God has done. TPGF. Olabisi Agbele Pawo. I return all glory to God. The program we had last Thursday. Yes. The devil tried hijacking it. Hmm. Wanted to use that uh, activity to bring shame, regret, and ridicule. Hmm. But God turned it around. God turned it around. My, my fears did not happen. Never. Otherwise, it would have been another story. Hmm. But God averted it. His yes. whims and caprice was turned to naught. Yes. Secondly, my pinky finger. I didn't know how it started, but, or when it started, though. But I was just feeling some pain in this pinky finger. And then at a point, I started anointing it. Mm. And um, I also played back 2021 message yes. somewhere in March, where that said, put anywhere that is painful mm -hmm. before your face and blow it. Yes. And I did that to it. I just discovered that after some time, I didn't even remember when he left, mm. he vanished. Mm. And whenever I'm running low on supplies, food supplies, I just drop in my mantle. Yes. And... Before you know it. Before you know it. My supplies, supplies. are automatically, Adequate. spiritually <laughs> boost up. To the, God be all the glory. God will boost up your supply. Your name, man, what God has done. Praise the Lord. I want to bless the name. My name is Adewuyi Madojutola. I want to bless the name of the Lord because he's faithful. Faithful God. And his mercy endures forever. Yes. I, I, I retired from my place of work. 2013. My yeah. entitlement was paid with my other colleagues. But they were still owing us some money. Um, they said since 10 months and some other entitlements like that. Mm. But last year, December, they started paying my colleagues. Mm -hmm. They were calling because we had a platform. They were, they were calling that they have received their lights. Mine didn't come. December, mm. January, January, February. February. I was just telling God, it's my entitlement. I work for it, and I know it will come. Yes. Whenever I come here, I talk to God about it, and yes. I believe, believe in God 
for faithfulness. Yes. On Tuesday evening, I was in, in the church for digging deep service. I just got the alert. Alert. I said, what? What is this? I could not hold it. I shouted and I gave my phone to a sister beside me. She said, ah, mommy, what? I said, this is my entitlement from my place of work where I retired 13 years ago. Wow. She said, how? That is God. That's God. So I've come here because this sister, I was even thinking, I would like to celebrate this sister. But I have more than enough Amen. to celebrate this sister. I prophesy, all your entitlement shall be paid. He said, we will not work for another man to eat. Everything you are entitled to, to, your children entitled to, to, your family entitled to, to, your business outfit entitled to, to, shall be fully paid. My daughter, your name and what God has done. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for, my name is Kachuku Comfort. I want to bless the name of the Lord for, for answering all my prayers. Answering prayers. Since I've been coming here since this year now, I've been, I've been committed. Yes. I've not missed one. Thank God. And I've been sowing back to see it. I've been paying all that pastor That's is right. asking us to pay. That's right. To the glory of God. Mm. Last week, Saturday, my children, my second born, came back from training. And he came back with high fever. High fever. And I gave him all medication. Second day persisted. Because of that, we didn't even go to church on Sunday. We worship online. Uh, on Monday, the same thing. So I carry my mantle. Mm. I place it on him. Mm. I begin to call. I say, God of Femi Manuel, mm. I've been hearing testimony of yes. healings, and this mantle has been working one day. Yes. Lord, heal my son in the in name of son. Jesus. I begin to pray. Even if I tie it on his neck, he will say, Ah, mommy, no, he's crashing me. I said, leave it there. I will shout at him. I asked him, leave it there. I put it on his stomach and I tie it around his neck and to, to, to the glory of God. Yes. He's healed and he goes to school today. Hallelujah. I want to bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Secondly, I, uh, pa uh, pastor say we should write seven things that yes. we want God to do for us this year. Yes. I want to bless the name of the Lord because God did too. I invest uh, some on something mm. since 2005. Wow. Ever since they have not five. gotten anything from there. Mm. But this year, as Papa, uh, our pastor said, we should write uh, seven, seven things that we want God to do for us. Yes. I wrote, one of it is that thing that I wrote. Yes. I want to bless the name of the Lord because God pays the money for me. Hallelujah. They call me to come and collect all my money and they paid me to the glory of God. One thing, pastor, we say, at the end of the turning point prayer, you say, you shall be happy. I always yes. hold on to that prayer. And today, I'm glorious, gloriously, happily. Yes, happy. you will be happy. How many of you listed the seven things you wanted God to do? We said we should shift seven things and write seven things. Yours shall come in full. Yeah. We have two testimonies from Dominion City. Can we have it very quickly? Praise the Lord, church. My name is Ola Biadenike. I want to return all the glory back to God for his healing mm. over my he son's is. life. He On is. Tuesday evening, before he slept, there was no sign of cough. He wasn't mm. coughing at all before he slept up. So around 11.30, he started coughing. Mm. And I was like, what kind of cough is this? I patted him to sleep. He slept a bit, then he, he started coughing again. So I said, okay, will you take water? He said, yes. And I only have um, a little water, a little prayer water, mm. which means just small. I gave it to him, and he said it's not enough, that he wants more mm. water. So I gave him more water. Then I patted him to sleep back. He slept back. He started coughing again. And I was scared because there was no syrup at home at all. So I was like, what will I now do? Will he, mm. will he cough till daybreak like this? He started crying himself because of um, chest pain. So, the Holy Spirit started hammering anointing oil. Yes. Anointing oil. And yes. I was looking at the anointing oil on my table, <laughs> where we sat. So I gave him, and I told him, I'll give you anointing oil. He said, he doesn't want anointing oil. I said, it's not bitter. I'll just put some in your mouth. He refuses. So I said, either you like it or not, I'll give you anointing oil. So I, I put my index finger, just a little, mm. and I, I asked him to open his mouth. He said, no. I forced his mouth open, and I rubbed all his mouth. I said, even if you spit it out, Little we get inside of you. 
to my greatest surprise, yes. it was as if it was the anointing oil that put the cough in his <laughs> that put the cough. So I was I was surprised. Before I could pack the anointing oil, it was already snoring. Ah. And I was like, within two to five minutes, it's not because I don't have faith, but at the rate of which the the anointing oil took effect, it mm. surprised me mm. so much. Because I <laughs> I was just like, ah. I was still observing him for yeah. He has already slept and mm. was snoring. He slept mm. till daybreak mm. perfectly, peacefully. Mm. I return all the glory back to God. Praise Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Good morning, church. My name is Mrs. Obi Harris. I want to return glory to the God of this commission concerning the life of my younger brother at Lagos. Mm. Mm. Anytime I'm coming here, I always bring his picture. Yes. I present bring his picture. picture to God. Lo and behold, last week, he closed shop and he went back to his house. In the, uh, in the midnight, they started calling him that a boy was lying dead in front of his shop, corridor of his shop. So when he came in the morning, everybody was standing there. They called him and he saw this 17-year-old boy lying dead in front of his shop, his corridor, with sniper. So they started taking my brother all around. They went to police. They make a comment there. He said that he had closed shop. I don't know anything concerning the death of the boy. Mm. They went to mortuary to go and drop the boy there. I just want to thank God because my brother was not put to shame. God of this commission saw him through. Yes. And my brother is hell and hearty. I bless God for what God has done in his life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now it is time to give mantles to those coming for the first time. If today is your first attendance of Prayer Mountain, you know. Let your finger touch it. If your finger cannot touch it openly, when you get back home, before you sleep at night, when you get back to your shop, your office, the restroom, your car, anoint the place. Healing will take place. He said, before I could pack the oil, the boy has slept off. Aha. So, it is faith that is at work. Whatever can ignite your faith will deliver your miracle. Anointing oil, anointed mantle, they are not magic, but they provoke faith. And whatever can excite your faith, we move the power of God to action. Get ready. More testimonies will come for you. Anoint your head. Anoint your, also salt your tongue. A little taste of salt at the tip of your, of your tongue. Don't swallow salt. Don't eat salt. Don't drink salt, but let there be a taste at the tip of your tongue. We are praying with an anointed tongue and a salted tongue. We are praying with tongue as of fire. The Bible says on the day of Pentecost, God gave them clothing tongues. Clothing tongues means initiated tongue. 
empowered tongue. So your tongue is being empowered to speak the word of faith, to pray the prayer of faith. The effective fervent prayers of the righteous avail much. So get ready. We are going to begin to pray for garment of honor. What you did for Joseph, do for me now. He exchanged the prison uniform for the prime minister's robe. What you did in Joseph's life, do it for my business. Do it for my children. Do it for my outfit. I need a royal robe. I need a royal garment. I want an exchange of garment. I want an exchange of robe. Garment of honor. Garment of respect. Garment of celebration. Garment of enthronement. Are you ready for the prayers? Put your mantle on your head. If that is comfortable for you. Or hang it on your cloth. If that is what you want to do like this. Or throw it across your shoulder. If that is what you want to do. Take all those things you have brought to represent where you want the power of God to walk. Hold them in your hand. I hope you have anointed them. Hold them in your hand. And please, we are praying fervently. We are praying with fervency. And when we get to prayer, don't look at anybody. God, we don't expect God to answer the prayers you fail to pray. He says, ask, and it shall be given unto you. So if you don't ask, it shall not be given unto you. So get those things ready. Your CVs, your checkbook, your handset, your invoice booklet, anything representing what you have brought. And I can see new clothes across the shoulder of many of you. I can see some of us also wearing colorful dress. I said purple. I can see purple on many of you. That's great. One of, our, one of the colors of our TPGF church is purple. Purple is, this, is the color of royalty. God is going to make you a royal reigning king. Rise up. It is time for prayer. Hold all those things. Throw your clothes around your shoulder. Wear them on yourself. If that is what you have done. Now, this is the first prayer. Say, O oh Lord, decorate my life with honor. Decorate my life with beauty. Decorate my life with power. Decorate my children's life with honor, with power, with strength, with anointing. Open your mouth and begin to ask God to decorate you. We are in a decoration meeting service. This is a service for divine decoration. Service for divine decoration. Decorate my ministry, my calling, my family my children, my life, with honor, with beauty, with anointing, with strength, with grace. This is decoration service. God wants to decorate you, separate you, with honor, with honor. Decorate my life with honor. Put the garment of honor on me, O oh Lord. On my business outfit, pray for everything. On my shop, on my office, on my practice, on my children, mention their name if you can. On my parents, on my siblings, decorate my life with beauty, with strength, with grace, with power. Decorate my life, my business outfit, everything I represent. Your calling on my life. The assignment you gave me. Decorate my son, my daughter. My husband, my wife. Decorate us with your presence. Oh yes. Put your presence on us. Yes. 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 Oh, decorate my life. With honor. Oh yes. Are you praying? All over the world. Are you praying? It is a service of God. Decorate my life. Put beauty of my, on my life. That is the service today. Decorate my life. With beauty. Thank you Father. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are praying the second prayers from Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1. Arise and shine for your light has come. And the glory of God is on you. Pray this prayer. Say, O oh Lord, oh Lord, let your glory mark me out for honor. for honor. Mark me out for greatness, for promotion, for prosperity. Let your glory mark me out. Let your glory mark my children out. Open your mouth and pray for glory. Glory that marks people out for a change of story. Let your glory mark me out for a change of story. Let your glory mark my children, mark my business, my outfit, mark my, my network. Let your glory mark my product out for huge sakes. Let your glory mark me out for excellence, for distinction, for empowerment, for enthronement. God's glory shine on me. God's glory shine on me. Go ahead. Let your glory mark me out. Glory of God. Mark me out for honor. Mark me out for blessing. Mark me out for promotion. As many as you can remember. Glory mark me out. 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 Yes, Lord. Ah, glory, speak on my behalf. God's glory, mark me out today. It will mark you out. God's glory will mark you out. God's glory will separate you from others. Yes, yes, yes. In Jesus' name, we pray. Next prayer is coming from Genesis 37, verse 23. Always pray with scriptures. That's another key we have learned here. Now, how many of you are following the turning point as we currently have it this week? We are praying with scriptures, isn't it? How many of you are praying it seriously and fervently? There are prayers that must be answered. They will be answered for you. Genesis 37, verse 23. And it came to pass... When Joseph was coming to his brethren, that they stripped Joseph of his coat. We are going to pray. Say, in the name of Jesus. Every power of force wanting to strip me of honor, to strip me of glory, die by fire today. I will not be stripped of all the beautiful things of life. Power and forces wanting to strip me of honor, of glory, of beauty, of power, die by fire today. Every force of power wanting to turn me naked, wanting to render me naked. They render Joseph naked. They strip him of his coat. Power and force wanting to render me naked, die by fire today. Whether you are a human agent or spiritual agent, out to strip me of honor, of dignity, of power, of anointing. Die by fire today. Pray against forces and powers. Stripping people of honor, of resources, of peace, of harmony in my marriage, of progress, of my job. Forces and powers. Human agent, spiritual agent, wanting to strip me naked. Ah! Die by fire. I will not be stripped naked. Whatever I want to rob me of honor, rob me of power, of excellence, of prosperity, of anointing, die by fire today. Yes. Yes. They will not survive. They will not succeed. They will not survive. Yes, 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 yes. Are you praying in United Kingdom? Are you praying in USA? Are you praying in Pretoria? Are you praying in UAE? Are you praying in Europe? Are you praying in Japan? Are you praying all over Africa? 
Are you praying all over Nigeria? Every power of force wanting to render me naked, to strip me of glory, of honor, of power, of dignity, to strip my children naked, die by fire. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Let your amen sound higher. Next, we are praying with Genesis 37, verse 21. Genesis 37, verse 21. They said, here comes the dreamer. Let's kill him. We are going to pray against every arrow of death. My children put on gas. They went to church. Sometimes 10% of that never happened and the whole house will be consumed. You need to know what creates inferno. What burn houses, industry down. One little spark. One little thing. Somebody put on a candle. Slept off. Candle burnt off. Burnt the table. And from there, the whole house engulfed. Children died of suffocation. Little thing. How you don't know what God is presenting you for. We are going to pray. Say, oh Lord my God. I will live and not die. My family will live and not die. My children will live and not die. My business will live and not die. Every arrow of death. Back to the sender. Open your mouth and turn it into prayer. I shall live and not die. Every arrow of death. Back to the sender. My children will live and not die. Every arrow of death. Back to where you came from. Back to hell. I will live. My calling will live. My children will live. My wife will live. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will live and not die. I will fulfill my purpose. I will live and not die. I will fulfill my purpose. My children will live and not die. Arrow of death. Arrow of poverty. Arrow of sicknesses and diseases. Arrow of dishonor. Go back to hell. Go back to hell. Pray with all your heart. Pray with all your heart. Pray with all your heart. Yes. 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 Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let's pray with Genesis 41, verse 42. Genesis chapter 41, verse 42. And Pharaoh took off his ring and put it on his hand. And uh, arrayed him in vesture of fine linen. That's a robe of royalty, of prime ministership. That's why you are going to pray this prayer. Say, oh Lord, my God, oh Lord my God, clothe me with the robe of power. The robe of good health. Clothe me with the robe of honor. Open your mouth and begin to pray that prayer. The robe of kingship, of dominion of reigning oh yes make me a king on earth a ruler among my people a ruler in my industry clothe me with a robe of power of fulfillment of promotion oh yes mention whichever one you want god to do for you go ahead and mention go ahead and pray it go ahead and mention Go ahead and pray it. Yes, yes, yes. It's a prayer that God will answer. It's a prayer that God will answer. He will answer that prayer for you. He will answer that prayer for you. Pray with all your heart. Pray with all your heart. Put your heart there. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. We want to pray these healing prayers quickly before we close. Romans 8, 11. This is Easter period. 
This is power period. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus Christ from the dead dwells in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall quicken your mortal bodies, shall heal your mortal bodies. Pray like this. Say, oh Lord my God, quicken my body. Give life to my system. Heal me everywhere I hold. The power that quicken Jesus, quicken my body, quicken my life. Give life to me. Give power to me. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. The power that raised Jesus from dead. The power that gave life to the body of Jesus. Give life to my system. Heal me everywhere I hurt. Heal me everywhere I have pain. My body receive life. Speak to your body. Speak to your body. Touch your body and say, my body receive life. Receive life. Receive healing. The power that quickened Jesus. Enter my body. Enter my body. Enter my body. Enter my system. From my head to my toe. The power that quickened Jesus from death. Enter my system. Enter my business. Enter my children. The power that raised Jesus from death. In Jesus' name we pray. Tomorrow is Good Friday. When Jesus went through sufferings. He got all the pains. All the ridicules. All the slappings. All the mockeries. Ah, he suffered so that me and you can live. He suffered so that we will not suffer again. That's why we are going to pray this prayer. Say, in the name of Jesus, I will not suffer again what Jesus suffered for me. I will not suffer what Jesus died to offer me. Open your mouth and pray. I will not suffer what Jesus suffered for me. Pain. Jesus carried my pain, carried my shame. I will not suffer what Jesus suffered to deliver me from. I reject suffering. Physical suffering, spiritual suffering, financial suffering, emotional suffering. I refuse to suffer what Jesus died to offer me. Pray that prayer and something will change. Pray that prayer and something will go. I am healed now. I am delivered now. I am lifted now. Jesus has suffered for me. I will not suffer again. My children will not suffer again. My family, my home. Jesus has suffered for me. I will not take the suffering again. Yes. 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 He suffered for me. I will not suffer what he has offered me. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Let your amen sound well. Amen. You will not suffer what Jesus died for. Amen. He suffered all kind of shame. He was dehumanized. He was beaten that People cannot even recognize him again. He said, I am a worm. No more a man. All this suffering on your behalf, on my behalf. I stand in that understanding. Everything Jesus suffered for you, you won't suffer them again. He became poor so that you might be rich. He died young. 33 and a half years. He died a young man so that you can live long. I prophesy again. No one will suffer what Jesus has suffered for. No premature death in your family. No poverty on you. Sickness will not feast on your body. Your things will do well. Your life will end good. You will live long and live well. In Jesus' name. He had this before the final prayer. Next Thursday, I have told you, is the first prayer mountain, the second quarter of the year. Very, very significant. And our prayer focus, as we will have seen in the flyer, 
is turn my water into wine. So bring water. And if you can, a non-alcoholic juice. Don't go and bring Tombo here. <laughs> don't say it's only 18%. That one is high. I don't want you to drink and your, and your eye is turning like this. If you can get juice better. All right? He turned water into wine. He turned bitter to sweetness. He turned downfall to promotion. He turned poverty to prosperity. That's what those things stand for. He turned barrenness to fruitfulness. He turned crying to laughters. Don't miss it. We will be taking the water and be taking the non-alcoholic juice. If it's just a small one. Do they still have all this small one in small packet? They still have it. Uh -huh. Do so. Are you hearing me? And if you bring, you will share with somebody. We will open the water. We will put that little juice. Something will turn. Something will turn. In your favor, something will turn. Every story of sorrow will turn. Everything that is bitter and not sweet will turn. This is a powerful spiritual insight. Bring as many people as you can. Stretch your hand here and let me pray. Today, the garment of evil has been removed. Amen. Replaced with royal garments. The miracle of Joseph begin to happen to you. Amen. The miracle of Joseph begin to happen for you. Amen. Begin to happen for your children. Amen. From prison uniform to prime minister's robe. God will decorate your life Amen. with beauty, Amen. with honor, Amen. with dignity, Amen. with excellence, Amen. with resources, Amen. with position, Amen. with respect. Amen. You shall be highly respected. Amen. You shall be highly honored. Amen. Every form of reproach live your life forever. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. You are lifted. Amen. Go and bring back testimonies. Go and bring back sweet testimonies. The Lord bless you and everything you represent in Jesus' name. Let your amen finally come. Amen. Give the Lord a wave offering in our head of what God will do. Please have your seats. All our online members and followers, it is time to send your tithe. If you are tighter to go through this commission, month is ending. As soon as you earn your income, if you are a monthly title, battle, thanksgiving, partnership commitment, your vows, and the seed of 333, we are still sowing this month. When we get to April, it will be a seed of 4444. We sow it according to the number of the month. Do so with all your heart. The information is on your screen. PayPal will take whatever currency in whatever nations. Follow the PayPal instruction. And those of you in our viewing centers, you want to do your payment online, do it through the information. The GT, the ZA, the access, they are there on the screen. I've already told you what will happen next week. Please don't come alone. You have taken flyers. Take more flyers and bring more people. Now, take your TPGF kit, wear it everywhere, and let, people, let God bless you. Now... Counseling will be available only after the second service. So if you have anything you want to talk to pastor about, it will be after the second service. Everybody, rise up with your offering. In all the centers, your service offering. Then in Dominion City and other places, you will go and lay your own on the altar. But here, we line up and then we bring it. Everybody lift up. Then before then. The turning point booklet for the month of April is out. This is Easter edition. Please, if you want to lay some on the altar, uh, if I see the people doing it here, I will let you know. But please make sure you obtain your own and give to other people. Lift up your offering. Father, in the name of Jesus, in fulfillment of your word, in obedience to your word, we don't come before you with empty hands. We have brought seed 
As we sow this seed, let harvest follow. As we drop this seed, let heavens open. One of the decorations you will give your children is financial decoration. Resources decoration. They will have more than enough. They will live in overflow. Never in want anymore. In the name of Jesus. Please drop your offering. Those of you that want to pay your tithe, your battle seed, you can hear the testimony of battle seed. Your partnership seed and the sacrifice from time to time as God lays in our heart, let's make sacrifice. Be on the line. Be on the line. And when you come here, you drop it. I will anoint, I will lay my mantle on your hand and on your things. And new doors will open for you. I said new doors will open for you. If you have not dropped your offering, please raise it up. Let the ushers see where the envelopes are. Ushers, lift up your head and let the bucket go there. And let us make sure we do our thing. Let's make sure we sow our offering seed. Be on the line. If you are from the overflow, come inside and be on the line. I lay my mantle on you and the things you have brought. Make a pronouncement on your life and new doors will open. Has all the offerings been taken? Please bring it to the treasury here. Bring it to the treasury committee here. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. royal robes are already on us. Amen. So as you step out now, you will be met with honor. Amen. You will be met with acceptance. Amen. It shall be celebration galore. Amen. Stretch out, lift up your cell phone. I prophesy a lot upon a lot. Those who owe you will pay. Those that God has mandated to bless you for this sister, they will not forget you. From high places, from local and abroad, help will come. A lot will come. Heavy, heavy money. Good, good money. In the name of Jesus. You will not know lack anymore. You will not know suffering anymore. It shall be smiles and laughter. Go in peace. Bring back testimony. Go in peace. Bring back testimony. Your fears will not happen. Before you get back to where you came from, something good has been arranged. The Lord bless you. In the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, fellowship of the Holy Ghost, be on you as you go. In Jesus' name. Look at your neighbor left and right and say, you are covered with the coat of honor.